Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it's Saturday, so it's grocery haul day. I have a pretty big haul for you this week from two different stores. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because I do a grocery haul every Saturday and I typically upload five videos every single week. Don't forget to check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching. This is how I have lost 140 pounds by tracking personal personalized macros and calories, and I have one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability as well. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and of course, come and join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's head on to the kitchen for this week's grocery haul. So my Imperfect Foods order is here. You guys know I love Imperfect Foods. It's a great way to prevent food waste. It's super affordable. It's delivered to your doorstep and they always have some really exciting things I've never seen before. So I have quite a big little haul for you that I thought I'd include with the groceries. So I will link Imperfect Foods down below with $20 worth of free groceries, no minimum order. So you can get $20 of free groceries. So here is everything that I picked up. So first is some bread. I got myself the Dave's Killer Thin Sliced Bread. I really like this and it was way more affordable at Imperfect Foods than at the grocery store. And then I got Troy the Seven Sprouted Whole Grain Bread. This one I really like as well. He asked for a whole grain bread instead of white bread and I know that this one's good. So I ordered him that. And then he loves Chex Mix so I did grab a bag of Chex Mix and a restock of my quinoa. I am completely out of quinoa and this is something that I've been trying trying to incorporate as a healthy grain rather than rice. So I picked up the tri-color quinoa. This one is really delicious. And then I was excited to see this. This is from the brand Nuka or Noka. It has five grams of plant-based protein. This is a superfood smoothie pack. So what you do is you put this in your blender with your other smoothie ingredients. So for me, I would probably do some protein powder and maybe some Fairlife milk. And this is mango and coconut. This was a really good deal. It was a six pack for $10. So I'm excited to make a smoothie. It is already in the high nineties here. So I'll be living on smoothies and protein ice cream in my Ninja, so I'm excited for that. And then I grabbed some tea from the brand Tea's Teas. This is the unsweetened mint green tea. This is so good. It's so good. There's no calories, nothing in here, and it has the perfect mint flavor, and you guys know I love mint anything. So I picked up three containers. And then I wanna make some homemade trail mix. So I have some almonds from Sprouts, just some raw almonds. I have some pumpkin seeds, and then I'm going to add some of these candied pecans to the trail mix. And then I also grabbed another bag of freeze-dried blueberries. I really like this mixed in with trail mix. And I think I might have some dried raisins or craisins or something too I might mix in, but I've really been liking making homemade healthy trail mix. And then I got some broth. This is the Urban Roasted Garlic Broth. I thought that this would make a really good base for soup, and I've been loving soup lately. I ate all the chili I made in meal prep already, so I picked that up just to try it out. I've never seen this in store. And then I got a can of pumpkin puree. We always have a can of pumpkin on hand. It's great for dogs if they're having tummy or digestive issues. Speaking of dogs, yeah, you're right here, as always. Wait, actually, I do have something for you, so hang on just a sec. So for the dogs, I got these pet snaps. These are all natural sweet potato pieces. Basically all it is is sweet potatoes. That's the only ingredient in there. And my dogs really like this. So let's open these up and give them one. Do we want a sweet potatoes? Oh, sweet potatoes for you. Good job, buddy. And for you, good girl, Lola. And then I had these once before. I actually found them at a little local shop when I was with my friend Kate doing a 5K. These are so good. These are freeze-dried Skittles. I don't know what it is about them, but they're really, really good. They have this really kind of fun, crunchy flavor, and it enhances the sweetness. You can actually have an ounce for 120 calories. There's four servings per bag. Just kind of a fun, sweet treat. I saw that on the website, and I'm like, I got to get it. And it was actually cheaper than when I purchased it locally. And then I did quite a bit of produce. I have a pack of blackberries, a bag of little yellow potatoes. I'm going to make a pot roast in the crock pot for a quick, easy dinner for us. I grabbed some mushrooms just to have on hand, a couple pears, pears have just sounded really good, a couple of oranges for Troy, he loves navel oranges, 
And then I got carrots so that I can put carrots in the pot roast in the crock pot. And then lastly, I got some baby arugula so that I can have salads. I've been kind of craving salads. And so I'm going to try this Plenty brand baby arugula. So that is everything that I picked up from Imperfect Foods. So here's my grocery haul for the week from Walmart. We did get quite a big grocery haul. What you don't see is some Gatorade Zero and Diet Coke and bottled water, all of which Troy is putting away in the garage. So let me show you what else I picked up for the week. I was all out of printer paper, so I grabbed another ream. I remember when printer paper was less than $3. This one was almost $6. I guess I haven't bought it in a long time. That just seemed really expensive from what I remember. And then I also grabbed some pretzels. This is for my meal prep. I'm making a really good no-bake dessert so stay tuned for monday's meal prep and then whatever pretzels are left over we will definitely eat those i did grab some sugar-free syrup also for a recipe i grabbed some prunes for troy i want him to try these instead of prune juice just because there's not a lot of added sugar so i got him a big container we'll see if he likes them as much as he does his typical prune juice i got some meat from the deli i have a peppered chicken breast and then i just got a small amount to see if i would like it but i think it's a chipotle turkey breast so i wanted to have a couple of different lunch meats on hand two gallons of one percent milk for troy he drinks a lot of milk we usually go through a couple gallons every single week and then i grabbed some chopped pecans this is actually for my meal prep and i love putting nuts in my oatmeal i use nuts a lot as mix-ins when i make ice cream in my ninja creamy for some healthy fat i needed a can of pineapple chunks for a dinner recipe and then i also needed some ginger and i just prefer to buy the ginger in the tube that you just squeeze out. In my opinion, it's a lot easier to use. I grabbed one more box of gauze. I'm still changing my gauze under my bra and around my incision every day. So we're going through quite a few gauze pads. And then Troy's Light Butter, you guys know this is the butter he prefers. We were completely out, so we got another tub. My Fair Life Milk, I love my Fair Life Milk. I've been making so much ice cream in my creamy that I've been going through my Fair Life really, really quickly. So I bought another of the low fat plain. I did order a teeny tiny heavy cream. This is for a recipe and they substituted with the big one, so I took it. And then a couple boxes of Kettle and Fire chicken broth. I am making soup for my meal prep and I'm so excited about it and I needed chicken broth. I also grabbed some peanut butter chocolate chip cookies. I thought Troy and I could eat these for the week. We like to have just a sweet treat on hand. And then we are out of sour cream and you know that we always have sour cream in the fridge. So I picked up the Daisy Light. My soup calls for orzo. So I have the Barilla, Barilla Orzo Pasta. These are my favorite English muffins. These are the cinnamon and protein. I like these because they have eight grams of protein and they don't have a big cinnamon taste. I can still make like an egg and cheese sandwich out of those. and. I don't get a big punch of cinnamon, but I love how much protein is in them. And then I grabbed some more Canadian bacon because we already went through that big two pack that I had bought at Sam's Club. So we like to use this for breakfast sandwiches. And then lots of produce, a big thing of blackberries, a big thing of raspberries, some green onions. I needed bell peppers for a couple of recipes. So I just bought this bag. Well, that's interesting. Usually it's an orange or red and a yellow, but I have two reds and a yellow, but we'll take it. I just needed some bell peppers. Pineapple chunks, it's just easier than cutting up a pineapple. And you know, I love putting this on my cottage cheese. And then two yellow onions and a red onion and a big, huge bunch of bananas. I need really ripe bananas for my meal prep. So I'm going to let these sit out and ripen for my meal prep. So that is everything that I picked up for the week. Let's go ahead and jump into what's on my menu for dinner and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. So here's what's on my menu for the week. So today, Saturday, we're going out for dinner. Tomorrow, we're also going out for dinner. Monday, I'm making crock pot Hawaiian chicken. You guys will actually see this recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. Tuesday's leftovers, Wednesday's tacos, Thursday's spaghetti, and then Friday, we have leftovers as well, so we can finish up everything from earlier in the week. And here's what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. I have to say, I'm really excited for these recipes. For breakfast, I'm doing a protein banana bread. I've been craving banana bread and I thought why not put protein in it so I'm really excited for that and then lunch I'm making chicken orzo soup I have been on a major soup kick major soup kick so I'm excited for that as well and lastly for a snack I'm making no-bake chocolate pretzel 
bars. I love no bake cookies and these sound amazing. So stay tuned for all three recipes in Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me for another weekly grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up from Imperfect Foods as well as Walmart. Don't forget I will link Imperfect Foods down below with $20 worth of free groceries. Free groceries. Who is going to complain about that? And of course, you'll also find nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and of course, my Facebook group. Again, come on over, join us. We'd love to have you. That is all down in the description box. Thank you for watching. Happy Saturday, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.